Yeah. Psalm chapter 91 and verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I would say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome like the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his fear, so like with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and th so like and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid, nor thy terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth not at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right side. I mean, at thy right hand. But it shall not. Sorry, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thy. Sorry, be, shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy inhabitation. There shall no evil fall before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread, thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on nigh because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So what was the point of that, sister? You read that and then eat that? We eat the scriptures daily. We That's read right. this. No, no, That's no, why no. we out no, here. No. You asked me a question. Right. When you read that scripture, that alone, you understand all of that. There is a duty that we all have, and we all still learn it. All of us are falling short of the grace of the Lord. But he loves Luke 14, all. Hold 22. on, listen, listen. I'm listening to you. I just told him to get some. No, no problem, baby. No problem. He loves the bad in the good. None of us. None of us. None of us. He loves all his children. There are people that don't know nothing but evil, and we're supposed to fight with love. If we saying it this way, that's not going to reach them. They ain't paying y'all no attention. None. That's not the way we reach. That's not. It's not going to reach. It's not going to reach. Show that love. And when you finish, go to Matthew chapter 10, 12 disciples. That's for y'all personally. I want y'all to share with me like I'm sharing with y'all. Right. I'm listening to the word and I'm hearing y'all. And I understand where you're coming from. But I'll tell you something. If the first church that I walked into and they was talking that way, I would turn around. Isaiah because 50 the enemy, one. the enemy, this is spiritual warfare. All he do all oh, day Isaiah long is tell us that we ain't worthy. All he do all day long is say, oh, God don't love him. All he do Make all sure. day long is have our own persons, people in our own circle come to us no, not yet. and tell us, oh, we not worthy. Right, you cannot be reached that way. You can't. All right, can I? The only way, hold on. The only way we can do it, and I do mean we, is show right. love. Right. You know how many people I walk up and down the street and see on a day to day basis, and the reason why they tell me they're not coming to the house of the Lord is because of the people in there. Church is like a hospital. You go there to get well. Everybody in there got sickness. And now, if y'all out here and y'all want to continue to spread it, and I hope y'all do, brothers, but not this way. Not this way. All right, can I can I talk now, sister? Yes, no problem. I'm, right. I told you, I want to learn too. Right. I like to eat. Right. I like the food. It's delicious to me. Right. <laughs> they call Let's... me church girl, by the way. All right, all right, sister. You guys said 58 and 1. This is why we speak the way we speak. Isaiah! So, hold on, you agree that these are the words of the Lord, right? Yes, okay. I do. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. You said do what? Cry aloud. So this is crying aloud. Okay. Spare not. And the Lord said, spare not. So when you come out here, you're not saying, oh, you're going to make it. No, no. Even though you being wicked, we still going to comfort you, brother. No, no. We no. here to comfort our brothers That's and sisters. That's what I'm saying. Hold on, sister. We didn't, we you didn't let us, you didn't let us finish speaking. You got to give them milk before you give Can them you meat. get 1 Timothy 2 and 11? You got to give them milk sister, before you Sister, you're, you're not letting us speak, I'm listening. Though. 
talking over it. I'm listening. Cry loud, spare not. Right. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right. And that's and, why this brother is loud like that with and, the microphone. And show my people their transgressions. For the Lord said, show my people their transgressions, meaning you're judging them. Now, when you, when I come up to you and I show you and I say, sister, you going off by doing such and such, that's me judging. Right. So the Lord actually tells people to judge. And that's what brothers are coming out here and doing. Can you get John 7 and 24? Right, because we're going to speak with the scriptures. Right, we're not going to use our own words. I nothing we, we've been out here for, what, two hours plus, And nothing we have said was not spoken of in the Bible. We're going by scripture. This is I'm the listening. book of John, chapter 7 and verse 24. Yeah. Judge not according to the parents, but judge righteous judgment. So the Lord said judge righteous judgment. Right? So you got to judge according to his commandments. That's right. Right, let me get Psalms, Psalms, 140, Psalms 119 and 147. Whoever got it first. So we're going to show you what we're supposed to judge according to. And that's the law, statutes, and commandments. So, Psalms 119 and 147. So we're supposed to judge according to the law. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 147. Right. I prevented the dawning of the morning and... Oh, so like it. And 119. And 147, Psalms 119. Yeah, this is Psalms 119. In verse 147, I prevented the dawning of the morning and cried. Oh, 142, Saki. It's one. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 142. The righteous is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. The Lord said, Thy law is the truth. Right, and I overheard the sister say John three sixteen. You have to understand what that means, and we can we means. can. No, you don't. You oh, yes, you I don't because do. you want to say, it. Oh, right? Oh, yes, so I the Lord do. said, what is oh, that yes, say? "Hold on, sister. Hold on. You dealing with us? Oh, yes, Aren't do. you dealing with us? Uh, All of us. I know what that means. All right, but they're recording. They're not going to say anything to you. All right, so we know we all know what John three sixteen. Can you get me? Somebody get. So you want to deal with John three sixteen? No. All right, all right, so we're going to deal with that. Go to Luke 2 and 1. Get Luke 2 and 1. Get Isaiah 45 and 17. Okay. Now, the Bible, right? This was translated from Hebrew, right? Yes. So you have to go to the Hebrew interpretation yes. of the word yes. world. Right? Now, when you go to the interpretation of the word, the meaning of the word, it can mean the whole world or a specific land or a specific people in a specific land or a specific people. Now, we're going to prove that in the Bible. Bring that out, Luke 2 and 1. This is the book of Luke, chapter 2 and verse 1. Right. And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar, Augustus. Right. He was the he was a Roman, right? And the Romans were oppressing the Jews. Right. That all the world shall be taxed. So it said all the world shall be taxed. Now, Caesar Augustus, when he taxed people, did he tax the whole world or did he tax the Jews that were in his land? Okay then. So when it says world, it doesn't it doesn't mean the whole entire world. Now bring out Isaiah 40 uh 45 and 17. Saki, actually hold that. Get Hebrew. What you got? Isaiah, uh, Isaiah, hold on, hold on. Go to go to Hebrews 1 and 2. Come. This the book of Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 2. Right. Hath in those in these last days spoken unto us by his son, right. whom he hath appointed. Hair of all things by whom also he made the world. And it has an S at the end. He made the world. It's not talking about planets. He's talking about he made different nations. He made different worlds. So when John 3.16 says, God so loved the world, he's talking about the Israelites. Now, when you go to Matthew 15 to 24, he says specifically with his own words, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So if he's saying in John 3, 16, that he loves the world, and then in Matthew 15 and 24, he's only uh, coming for the Israelites, and the, and the understanding that you got and you're coming with, that would mean he's um, um, contradicting himself. That would mean he's changing. Get, get Malachi 3, 6. Exactly, and the Lord, we know that the Lord doesn't change. So when he says the world, he's speaking about the Israelites. Sister, that's what you did. So when when you came up with John three sixteen, what were you trying to tell us, sister? So can you tell me? So why aren't you answering? Malachi, Malachi chapter three verse six. For I am the Lord; I change not. For the Lord said, I change not. 
So when he said in Matthew 15 and 24 that I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, right. he's not going to change in the next chapters, in the next books, and say, now nah, I'm coming for everybody. Right. The Lord don't change like that. Right? And finish that. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Right. So if the Lord was to change and then engraft everybody, we would be consumed because we went under captivity under every single nation and the Lord put us through hard bondage because we didn't keep the commandments. Now, for the Lord to switch up and be like, now nah, I'm going to save the oppressors that have been oppressing you, then we consume because it's like, damn, we went through all those atrocities and abominations just for you to graft our oppressors. That's right. That's why the Lord does not change, I man. This is the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. The God of our fathers, God of what? Our fathers Ooh. raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on the tree. Read that, read that, read that as, as Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. The God of our fathers raised up Jesus, whom he slew and hanged on the tree. Hold him, on, hold on. God, yeah, him yeah. hath God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior. For to give repentance to Israel. To who? To Israel. Now he came to give repentance to Israel. Now where in the Bible does it say he's giving repentance to everybody? Now hold on, sister. Hold on. Ask me. Hold on. Ask no, no, no. That was you a rhetorical question. That was a rhetorical scripture. question. You said for me can to speak get, through scripture. Can you go back Psalms to Psalms 37? 40, God's 45. mercy. He loves Psalms everyone. Psalms 45 and My 17. My voice loud enough. I don't need the mic. That's you cool. You asked me to respond to you, you being, in scripture. That's cool. Hold on. I'm responding to I didn't to ask you a question. You I asked you a rhetorical question. Okay. That was a rhetorical no, question. Before when then. I want you to answer, sister, I'm going to ask you. No, I'm not no, trying no, to. No, 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 no. Um, before then, you, you asked me to respond to you with This scripture. is the book of Isaiah, right. chapter 45. Hold on, sister. We're going to let you bring out. I'm telling you. We, I'm trying I promise to we will let you say you. what you're going to say. You. Now, that that's the right way, baby. Got Isaiah 45. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, and verse 17. But Israel. Shall be. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, come on. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Right? Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded. World without end. So the Lord said the world that he was speaking about was the Israelites. That's right. When he said in John 3, 16, God so loved the world, it was the world of the Israelites. Now the Lord said you have to have three, two or three witnesses, right? Now you cannot get me two or three witnesses that show me that God is saving, saving everybody. Can you get Joel 2 and 7? Right, we can bring an unlimited amount of precepts that says he's only saving the Israelites. That's right. You're only going to bring out one precept, John 3, 16, with no explanation to it besides man's words. Uh, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing. Uh, what? Or as nothing. So why, why is the Lord saying all the nations before him? I know. Why is the Lord saying all the nations before him are as nothing? Didn't we just read the Lord don't change? That's right. We're reading that the Lord don't change, man. This is righteousness. This is ever this is everlasting righteousness, man. The Lord's not saving everybody. And they are counted to him less than nothing. Yes. And, and vanity. And vanity. And I know you know what vanity means, sister, because you got a house. Isaiah 44, verse 1. Bring it out. Ye now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. Who have what? Whom I have chosen. Now, when you choose a particular thing, you don't care about everything else. You chose it because that's your favorite thing. The Lord, get second time. You know what I want, right? I so, so the Lord. I'm gonna show you the Lord is not saying that. Isaiah chapter. I mean, this is Second Edges chapter six and verse fifty-four. All after all these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Right. So you agree that Adam is the former of all people, right? So everyone didn't come from Adam? That's what I meant to say. No. They <laughs> came from God. Adam was made from God. Can you Everybody <laughs> is from God. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking and about. And we, we obviously know that, sister. You're getting confounded because no, honey, you're coming no. with no. false. No. You're just, I'm waiting. You, you're I'm waiting. To I'm going to eat what you get, but I want you to eat mine too because okay, I understand okay. where you're coming from. Okay. You're too jumping from the New Testament. Can you, you give me Isaiah? Testament. I'm going to explain you some stuff to you. I'm going to wait. Isaiah 28 and 9. Second. Hold on first, because so, we want to answer every question, right? We're going to answer every single question out the scriptures, man. That's right. Because we're not hipping it. We're not winging it out here. We're not just talking folly. We're not talking idle words. We're talking the words of the Most High. That's right. Isaiah 28. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 28 and verse 9. 
Whom shall he teach knowledge? Whom shall the Lord teach knowledge? And whom shall he make it to understand doctrine? Right. Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Right. Meaning you gotta you gotta take in the milk of the word, the, the simple things of the word, yes. like the commandments, yes. knowing your Israelite. That, right? they are knowing that God's gonna show love only to the Israelites. That's, That's right. the milk. Oh, bring that out. No. <laughs> For precept must be upon precept. Hold on, listen, listen. Can no, you listen? I can't Hold on. For precept must be upon precept. Hold on. The Lord just said precept upon precept. Right. Precept upon precept. Right. Line upon line. Line upon line. Line upon line. Right. Here a little. Here a little. There a little. There a little. With four stammering lips and another tongue. Well, he speak to his people, right? So the Lord said precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little. That's, right. That's why we go to Malachi. That's why we go to Sirach. That's why we go to damn Daniel. That's why we go into all these different books. Now, you came up here and said you're not trying to teach us something, but you are trying to teach us something. No. Go to 1 Timothy 2 and 11. Y'all sharing with me. I can't share back. You're I teaching, we you're teaching the men of the Lord, man. The we study to show ourselves a proof, man. The Israelites, the so the Israelites have yet to be confounded That's by right. that Christian doctrine. Christian. That doctrine came by your oppressors when you were in God. slavery. That was handed to you when you were in the fields, man. Right. So is Jesus a white man? What? Is he a white man? No. So what is he? He is the creator of all. So what is of his all. what is his ethnicity? Everybody what out is here Jesus, was created from God. What is Jesus he shot on us out. He shone on the good and the bad. What is he loved everybody the same? You see what That's these Christians do? When you cut them great. the hell up, they talk folly and madness, That's man. Right. Your There's wisdom, no your wisdom everybody. has faileth you, man. My mouth loud enough to be without this mic. We can both sit up here and read not some yet, scripture. Not Fret not thyself because of evil doers, not to be envious of the workers of inequity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither away. So this woman is teaching. She calls herself teaching. Trust in the Lord and do now, good. Now let's see what the Lord says about women teaching saved. the Bible, man. The, the men of the Lord, Lord that shut study to show thyself approved, man. Right, bring it out. Trust in him and he shall this bring This is the book the of first Timothy, he verse shall bring two forth the and light eleven. The light. But I suffer and not a that. woman to teach. But I what? But I suffer not a woman to teach. But I what? But I suffer not a woman to teach. So why did the Lord say I suffer not a woman to teach? Get on camera, yet this woman is teaching, man. Why is this woman out here teaching if the Lord said not to teach? As a woman, that's off. You already transgressing his law. Lord, to assert authority over the man, but to be a silence. For Adam was first born, then he. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Right, and you notice how she turned away to the crowd, because she's not getting no dubs up here, man. She's not getting no love and not getting no dubs out here. Give me Proverbs 9 and 13. Hold on, we probably don't even need that one. Hold on, hold on. Proverbs 9 and 13. What that said? If you repent, you will not be judged. Yeah. Don't start no messing I give a cold Alright. Okay. What you want? Let me get Proverbs 9 and 13. And the wicked flee. She got no wins up here. She lost every single conversation, every single point, and she got a. This the book of Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 17. This the book of Je uh, Proverbs chapter 9 and verse 13. A foolish woman is glamorous. It's what? It's glamorous. And a foolish woman is glamorous and runs her damn mouth, man. The Lord said a foolish woman is glamorous, meaning she don't shut the hell up. She is simple. It's what? She is simple. Right? And know with nothing. And know with nothing, man. Hold on. Get the camera on her. She was talking to us. Turn it back to us now. Turn it back to us. She was talking to us that she had to turn to the crowd because she got no dubs up here. Man. She got cut up and, and get Hebrews going to it. Y'all going to die a terrible death by the Lord. This is Iraq 11 and 14. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12. For the word of God is quick. And powerful, right. and sharper than any two-edged sword. What? Sharper than any two-edged sword. And this word is sharper than a two-edged sword, man. That's right. right. Piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a descender of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Right. And she was cut the hell up. We cut her up. When she was standing there, she got cut up. Then she moved over there and she was confounded. 
And all y'all that's listening, huh? Y'all going to hell off because we speaking the words of the Most High. That's right. First Peter four and eleven. We don't want to hear you a heretic, man. You're, you're denied by the Lord. The Lord has denied you, man. It's the book of Sirach, chapter 11, verse 14. Prosperity and adversity, life and death, poverty and riches, come of the Lord. Come of the Lord. That's why people pray as hell, because the Lord did it. That's why you're gonna die, cause the Lord's gonna do it, man. Right. Look at you a harlot, man. Look at these the look at the daughters of Zion being harlots and whores out here, man. You don't be destroyed. First Peter 4 and 11. First Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. If any man minister, let him do it as the ability which God given. Right. That God in all things may be glorified. Do your house shine, must shine. Right. Read it as it is. And we glorifying the most high because we read his words. That's right. Who up here can't who who has confounded us? The Lord said you can't be confounded when you trust in the Lord. That's right. We right. trust in the Lord, man. Let me get Sirach 2 and 10. Right? We trust in the most high. That's why we don't get confounded. That's and right. we study to show ourselves approved, man. These same damn Christianity questions, we heard them a thousand times. That's right. And they got cut up every single time, man. That's right. We're not worried about what y'all saying, because y'all can't prove us wrong. First Thessalonians 5. That God in all things may be glorified through Jesus Christ, who, to whom be praised and dominion forever and ever. Amen. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2 and verse 10. Look at the generations of old and see that never any trust in the Lord was. It was confounded. Then what? It was confounded. So did any trust in the Lord and was confounded, man? No. We're gonna tell you la ah. La ah. Where did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? It was what? It, it was, was forsaken. And every time we come out here, we protected by the angel of the Lord, man. Right? Earlier we got in a scuffle with Jake and they had to disperse themselves, man. Well, you know, when it came out that we was the prophets of the Lord, man, they had to disperse themselves, right? Or, or who did he ever despise that calleth upon him? Right. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins and saveth in time of affliction. Right. Woe be to the fearful hearts and faint hands. Right. And all y'all fearful as hell because y'all got coronavirus mask on. How do y'all trust in the Lord and y'all got coronavirus face, face mask on, man? Right. Read that part over it. Woe well be to the fearful heart. Right, and woe means destruction. So he said, woe unto the fearful heart and faint hands right. and the sinner that goeth two ways. Right, and the sinner that goes two ways, man. Y'all say that y'all believe in the most high, then y'all got a face mask on. You're the sinner going two ways. Woe well unto him that is faint hearted, right. for he believeth not. Therefore, he shall not be defended. He shall what? He shall not be defended. And y'all not being defended by the Most High. When these plagues increase, because this coronavirus ain't nothing. There's still people walking around. The Lord said in Revelation 11 and 8, their dead bodies shall lie in the damn cities, man. Are you, do you see any dead bodies in the street, cities yet? This coronavirus ain't nothing. So when those days come, the Lord's not dealing with you. The Lord will not defend you, man. Like the brother brought out in first in uh, Proverbs 1 and 26, he's going to laugh at your calamities when your destruction comes. Cometh, man. Right? James 1 and 8. This is the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 8. A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. What? It's unstable in all his ways. Right, and we have all these Christians come up, they say, Oh, I believe in God. Then when you bring out the scriptures, they say, Fuck you, F you, and you a bitch. Come on now, you going off. You 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 double minded, man, and you're unstable in all your ways. Right? How are you using profanity against the words of the words against of Saki? How are you using profanity against the words of the Most High? I thought y'all loved God. I thought y'all cherished the Most High. That's a lie, man. Y'all hate the Lord, man. Get John seven and seven. Hold what you got. What you got? This the Saki, book. you can hold. Go back, Saki. Get John seven and seven. This the book of oh, Saki. That's First John. This the book of John, chapter seven and verse seven. Bring it out, Saki. This is the book of John, chapter 7, verse 7. The world cannot hate you. Right, and this is Christ speaking. This is his word. The world cannot hate you, but it hateth because I testify of it. That the word, the world cannot hate you, but me it hated. What? But me it hated. And the world hates Christ. 
Because as you can see, we speak in the words of Christ and nobody want to deal with it. They scoffing and yelling and doing all types of manner of folly. But me hate it because I testify of it. Because I what? Because I testify of it. And the Lord testifies of this wicked world, man. The Lord testifies against all you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that's, right. that's out here not repenting uh, to the Most High, man. Coming back to his law, statutes, and commandments. That's right. That the works thereof are evil. They're what? Are evil. And all the works of this damn place is evil as hell. That's why the Lord got to destroy this place, man. This place is finished. Every single one of you people out here that do not repent, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. You you can laugh. You can scoff. We don't give a damn because Jeremiah, guess what? Jeremiah was laughed at. Isaiah was laughed at. All these prophets were laughed at. And guess what? Judgment came and everybody was sorry as hell, That's man. That's right. Bring out Isaiah 41 and 10. Actually, it's like Amos, Amos 5 and 10. Yo, shut that up! Shut that up! Hey! Yeah. Nah, Yo! Yeah. I might get that. This the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 10. They hear him that rebuke it in the game. They do what? They hear him that rebuke it in the game. And we rebuking, meaning we correcting you. We correcting you at the gates. Right? These are spiritual gates out here. And y'all hate it, man. Y'all hate to be reproved. They abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Right? And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. Because we speaking uprightly, we speaking the words of the Most High, y'all hate it, man. And oh, well, we don't care. You got to deal with it. The Lord's going to destroy you. Right, y'all the same people got face masks on. Y'all fear. Y'all got the spirit of fear. We don't, man. We bold as hell out here telling you you're going to get put to death if you don't repent. That's right. This morning. Second Chronicles uh, 15 and 13. You can get Second Chronicles. Just drop that out. Second Chronicles, um, 36 and 16. 